Deep in the recent White House financial disclosure forms, I noticed President Trump's son-in-law and senior White House advisor Jared Kushner collects a few grand in income every year from some property in my hometown, Union, New Jersey. Just a few blocks from my old Little League field, round the corner from the used car lot where I bought my first set of wheels. What kind of gilded Trumpian Taj Mahal could have risen since I'd last been in the neighborhood? We are not in Mar-a-Lago anymore. Welcome to Park Lane Mobile Home Park, an overgrown trailer park hard against Interstate 78. Gravel roads, a herd of stray cats. A half hour from Trump Tower, it stands as a gritty outpost of the Kushner family's real estate empire. Every year, along with the income from entities like 666 Fifth Avenue in Manhattan and his wife Ivanka Trump's fashions, the couple has taken in a few grand in rent from the residents of Park Lane, who had no idea about any of this until I showed up. All right, so this is his White House financial disclosure form. This is one of like 50 pages, right? All right, so he lists all of his income. So he's got Park Lane Mobile Home Park. It was a surprise because for years, the residents here just sent their check to a Kushner partner with a P.O. box in nearby Milburn. There's been no manager here for a few years now. For some residents, like Joanne Zito, a Trump supporter, the surprising news provided an exciting connection to power and glory. Although she does wish Kushner would clean the place up a little bit. Yeah, he should uh, clean it up a little. I think so. Yeah. All right. Let me write a letter to the White House. Actually, I think it's pretty cool that his part is in here. I just wish the place looked a little better. You know what I'm saying? For others, like Frida Vlett, the news drew a straight line from her well-kept trailer to, well, Satan. He bought a building with the number 666 in Manhattan. The story behind the place? Well, Joseph Kushner bought it along with two partners back in 1965. His son Charles, Jared's father, held on to it through his rise and fall, and Jared has inherited a slice of it from him. Today it is perhaps the ultimate example of the mundane properties across New Jersey the Kushners used to build their wealth before Jared came along and went all luxury Manhattan skyscraper with the family fortune. So I said, you know, why does it look like this? Why does he want to be a partner in this trailer park? Yeah, it doesn't look Because of the money that's coming in. He, he did a bad thing to do. From 57 trailers down to about 18 or so now. Everybody was living there. 57 trailers and they all had people in them. It was a one empty when I moved in. This one's empty, you say nobody's living here. No, Joe had this, but he has no water or electric, so he moved in with the car. Right, so it's empty right now. Yeah. And so residents have a feeling that Park Lane won't be a trailer park for long. Milburn attorney Joseph Feldman manages the place. He inherited a share from his dad like Jared and says, yeah, they're hoping to do something else with the property. No rush though, nobody will be pushed out just when the last resident leaves. All right, you're my tour guide of the trailer park here. There's really not many people here. This one's empty, he's trying to sell it. That one's empty too? Until then, residents call it a decent place to live. Not great, certainly, but okay. Just a long way from the shining towers of power in Washington and New York. But really, not as far as they thought. Take it easy.